Rahul Srivastava, it's not so much about being woman, <coughs> about being tribal, about being Dalit, about whatsoever. It's the position of the president. Should the president, as per protocol, be inaugurating the new parliament building? That's the question and that's what needs to be discussed. Rahul Srivastava. Preeti, this question confronted me when uh, last year in July, Prime Minister uh, unveiled that uh, lion uh, statue right on top of uh, the new parliament building. And I spent nearly six and a half hours inside the parliament library going through the old parliamentary records. Now, Article 79 of the Constitution, 79, says that there shall be a parliament and it will consist of the President, the Council of States and the House of People. That means Lok Sabha, Raj Sabha and the President. Uh, Article 53.1 uh, says that the executive powers of the union are vested in the president of India. That means the president has, is the head of the executive and the constituent of the parliament. So it is the president who is the most relevant person as far as such inaugurations are concerned. I will, I will stick my net out on this. It is constitutionally very clear. There is absolutely no ambiguity over this issue. Why it has been done, it has primarily been done that invite has gone to the Prime Minister. In the past uh, 2020 foundation stone laying also, similar thing happened, primarily because of the order of precedence. Because if the President of India is there, he is the senior most functionary in the government, uh, in the constitution of India. If he is there, then it is not the Prime Minister who will be inaugurating it or not the Vice President. And that is why since President, the Vice President are senior in the order of President to the Prime Minister, invites are not sent to the President and the, uh, and the Vice President. That's the reason why mm -hmm. the invites are not sent. But, but there is a catch, Piti. I have always yes. maintained it is not what about re any bad start in a democracy eventually becomes a habit. And it, it becomes a habit which is so bad that I will tell you when it happened for the first time. I researched this and I found out that on the 28th of August 1947, the first portrait inside Parliament was unveiled by uh, Dr. Rajendra Prashad, the President of India. That was of a 4x4 four four uh, portrait of Mahatma Gandhi. After that, the second was uh, inaugurated on July 28th, 1956. It was not the President of India. It was not the Speaker, Mr. Uh, Mavlankar, who inaugurated. It was Jawaharlal Nehru. After mm -hmm. that, 25 portraits, out of them, 20 inaugurated by the prior President. But... Others have been inaugurated by Pandit Nehru, V.P. Singh and Chandrasekhar. After that, you have already uh, taken the names of uh, the Parliament Annex building and the Parliament Library building. Prime Ministers have either laid foundation or uh, of the two buildings or have inaugurated it. Then comes the only time the Speaker of Lok Sabha has inaugurated since 1953 was on the March 13th, 1953. Mr. Mavlankar unveiled the portrait of Dada Bhai Noroji. So the president and the speaker and the vice presidents have been ignored. This is a precedence that if today it is wrong, I, I agree it can be constitutionally incorrect. But then everybody has to agree that if today it is wrong, then even in 1947 and 48 and 53 and everything, it was all mistakes being committed. A series of mistakes are being committed by in violation of what the constitution says, the spirit is being defeated. Um, therefore, Mr. Soz, it's a little rich coming in from the Congress party because you've done it yourself. So to come out and now accuse the BJP of uh, what you stand guilty of is a little rich. Uh, I, I think uh, I will let uh, your audience and the people of India decide whether inaugurating uh, an entirely new building of parliament is the same as inaugurating uh, a portrait of uh, a leader. So I, I let the people decide. I, I personally don't... Madam, let wait, me, your turn. Let Madam me, wait your turn. I'm no, coming right Madam, back. Yeah, please. Okay, you know, yeah. I, I Go did ahead, not Mr. disturb Sir. any. I did not disturb anyone. So please do not disturb me when I'm speaking. So, I, I do think that the BJP spokesperson said, and uh, if I'm not uh, mistaken, she said that we let uh, the president down because this was being organized by the uh, by the uh, uh, Lok Sabha. No, I didn't. Who 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 decides? Quite, quite frankly, this is to my mind, uh, this is a laughable proposition. This is not a Lok Sabha event. This is a Parliament of India event. The Parliament, Parliament of India is headed by the President of India, not the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister, by the way, mind you, in India we have separation of powers under uh, the Constitution. So the executive, which is the Prime Minister, is separate from Parliament, which is 
where the Lok Sabha Speaker and the Chairman okay. of the Rajya Sabha Cabinet. Let me just finish. I think what we see, what we are seeing here is a pattern. This is a pattern of abuse of power. And do I have to remind you that only in 2019, when the National War Memorial was being inaugurated, who inaugurated it? The Prime Minister. Who is the Supreme Commander of India's uh, Defence Forces? The President of India. But President Ramnath Kovind was not invited. So this is the, this is a pattern with this uh, with this gentleman, with this president. And I know there's a, a cult of personality okay. around him. Maybe BJP is comfortable around that. But right. I can tell you that things are not going that well. But, for but the Mr. Prime Minister, Sir, that's what you know. The argument from the other side is you laid the blueprint. We are only refining it further. But Niti Jain, you wanted to come in for a rebuttal. Go ahead. Uh, so, uh, I, I think this gentleman said it is not the same to uh, inaugurate a, uh, a picture and the parliament. Sir, it is not our fault that for 75 years you did not think of making something that was India. You did not celebrate the culture that was India. You did not know for more than 50 years about which statue to erect uh, at the India Gate canopy. That is not our fault. Had you done it, I'm sure it would have been your prime minister because you did not think beyond the... Uh, Gandhi Nehru family for anything. Half the things you've opened are named after all of those people. So it is very rich of you to come and give us a lecture about the constitution. Uh, like uh, uh, Mr. Shabastav just said, there has been a lot of precedent where your prime ministers have taken a similar step. So why is it that that wisdom evades you when it's your turn and your entire wisdom comes up and the constitution comes up now? It did not come up when you uh, uh, ev evoked the entire emergency on the entire country. Where was the constitution then? So it is very rich of you to come up and talk about all of these issues when it is the BJP that is doing the work, that is bringing okay. back the culture. We are making India proud nationally and internationally. And now is it, I'm very thankful that you say it is the people of this country that should decide about, about this entire matter because I know where the country stands on this matter. Every day you have come up with a different excuse on, on this entire thing. And the last point that I want to make is that this event is going to go down in history for at least the next century. By, okay. getting, uh, by not being a part of this event, I think it is going to hurt you more than the BJP okay. because the inauguration you know, is not going to happen okay. on the 20th. Okay, you know, we, we let history decide uh, on uh, what uh, the importance of this event is. But what I'm going to do is I want to just quickly bring in Rahul Srivastava for one final time into this conversation. Rahul, um, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting because we have past precedents. One thing is very clear that it is the president ultimately that is the head of the parliament. But always very, um, I would reckon, convenient to quote one part of history and leave the other. And I would reckon this is going down the same path. Preeti, on the 18th of uh, January 1927, when Lord Irwin inaugurated the old parliament building, uh, he read out a message from the king. And it said that the parliament building is supposed to guide India to, a, to fashion a future well. I think the BJP could have been different. The BJP had mm -hmm. promised to be different. Right now, the Congress is no different from what the BJP is doing. And I think, as Mr. So said, yes, the people will decide that why no political party in power has been different.